On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the wonderful farming that we have here at Beaver. As many of you may know, I haven't always been a Duchess. I call myself the accidental Duchess, actually. I grew up on the Welsh borders, and one of the favourite times in the entire year for me was spring, Easter and lambing. We have a lot of sheep here, over 2,000 ewes in lamb now. And I want you to come with me for a fabulous conversation with Nick Smith, who's our shepherd and works tirelessly to bring these little lambs into the world. I do hope you enjoy this conversation. So Nick, thank you for coming today. I know you're flat out at the moment, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Tell us, what is your name, full name, and what do you do here at Beaver? I'm Nick Smith, and I uh, shepherd or stockman for the, for the estate, and I look after all the cattle and sheep and uh, farmed on the estate itself. And how long have you been here? Uh, it's five years now. Goodness, can't believe that, Nick. Yeah. How many people, Nick, have you got in your team here? For 90% of the year, it's me on my own. Wow. But then I have a bit of help at this time of year for, for, for the next month. Why do we rear and farm the livestock here at Beaver? Well, you have an amount of grassland that is can only be grassland. So that, that obviously leads itself to having your own animals. The, the obvious thing is to have your own flock of sheep and cattle and run them hand in hand together and hopefully produce high quality um, meat for the butcher. Everyone about what sheep you have here? We have mainly North Country mules now. Um, when I first started, there was uh, Suffolk Cross mules and Romneys and um, some other bits and pieces. But I've kind of narrowed it down to the breed that we think is right for what we are trying to, to do and achieve. How many ewes have you got? 1,200? Yeah, there's, there's 1,200 lambing ewes, 1,250 lambing ewes this year. And then there's another 400 ewe lambs that we uh, buy in each year. Some are sold as breeding sheep to other people. Um, and then there's generally 300 go back into the system as replacements. Great. But that's not just what you've got here at Beaver because you've got a, quite an, a growing herd of cattle. Yeah, we've calved 80 cows this year, which is, I think we've just about found our limit with, the, with numbers now. What's the livestock's quality of life like here at Beaver compared to where you were before? The quality of life, it's quite a good question, really. It, it, I, I, I consider it to be higher because we're less intense. Not to say that I didn't look after the animals any better on the last farm than I did here, but they're less pressure on the animal to rear things fast and produce big numbers. That They have a nicer life because they, yeah, they've, they've got more space as well. And they're looking at the castle. And they're looking at the beaver castle too, yeah. And it's, you've given us some precious time today because, as we know, what, the middle of April, have the lambs started arriving? Yeah, they just started well. arriving, yeah. We had four last night, but they're not really due until Thursday, which is another two days' time. But yeah, they're just starting to come now, yeah. And this year's looking like it's going to be a good lambing season? Hopefully, yeah. yeah everything's looking good. There's plenty of lambs in uterine and hopefully we're, yeah, we're set to go. When lambing starts, you're up, what, two, three times through the night? No, no, I don't actually. No, I leave them, I leave them through the night, the dark hours of the night. First check is round is uh, half five, just as, as it's got light. It's, I, I find it's pointless going out before it's light because you only miss things. You've got to let the sheep get into trouble before you can fix it almost. So I, I feel that between the hours of six and eight in the morning is the best time to check and you go to where you expect the problems to be. And just explain to me, where do sheep go to lamb? Well, they, they, they generally find a quiet place in the field under a tree, wet bottom of the field somewhere out the way where no, nobody really generally goes, but generally away in a, in a quiet corner somewhere. Same with the cows. The cows will go off and find a tree somewhere. That reminds me exactly what my father said to me when I was about to have Violet, my first child. <laughs> if she was tree. a cow, she said she'd go to the side of the field yes, and have it quietly yes, on yeah, her own. Yeah, go and find a shady spot under a tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. So 
so he suggested that people surrounding the bottom of the bed should all leave and let that's, me that's get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, they don't want to be on their own. And that's, that is the whole point of what we do. What do you feel about the meat that you produce here at Beaver, Nick? Yeah, it's, it's produced to a high standard, to a high quality. So if the consumer went into the shop and they bought a piece of beautiful Hereford beaver beef, yeah. how does it eat? Um, it eats very nice. It's, it, it's, it's a well-matured, slow-grown joint or, or piece of steak with an amount of marbling fat that runs through it, which gives it a lot of good taste and yeah, generally really good high quality. So you'd highly recommend it? I would, yes. And this is a very slow-producing beef, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. But the beef that's produced out of these Herefords would have been on this estate 15, 18 years ago. Yeah, well, we just looked at one of the cows this year that we traced back to one of the first cows you'd, you'd bought so that that line is still, it is actually still there. Maisie, Daisy and Gertie. Is that what it was? Yeah. And do you see trends changing with the consumer? Yeah, yeah all the time. It, it, that's a very good question. It's it, it's it's a quite a faddy thing that is. Um, at the end of the day, people still want to eat meat. Meat is getting very expensive, as we know, but then everything is as well. You know, the cost of production is always going up. So hopefully our system of low input should lead itself to uh, less cost, which hopefully means um, more profit for the estate. But at the same time, if you're doing your job correctly, then the quality of meat, etc., is is still there. So what's your favourite thing, Nick, of all the things you do here at Beaver? What's your favourite thing of your job? It's very difficult because each season has its own challenges and uh, its own likes and dislikes. But I suppose spring and autumn is probably my favourite time. Four o'clock in the morning on a nice spring morning when the sun's just coming up and you're going to check the sheep and the cattle. Probably my favourite place is Croson Park, is, is to be quite honest with you, because it's so quiet and away from everybody and everything else, yeah. It's like another world. It is, yeah, yeah. What have you learnt on your journey in life from animals? I suppose it's taught me to respect the, the, the whole wildlife and world we live around, really, and have respect for nature but you're so in touch with it. The, the danger is the further you walk away from it, the less you're in touch with it. And then you kind of get out of tune, but you're completely and utterly It's part of your life, isn't it? It's, it's your life. With, uh, it is, with the seasons. Yeah, yeah. It's, it isn't a job. It would be no different. I was working for, for yourself or for the next person or the last person. You give it your all because it's your life. It's 24-7, 52 weeks of the year. And that's, that's it, yeah. Well, it's great having a man like you, Nick, and he's so hands-on. And it's one area now I can trust and believe. I can't tell you the problems we've had in the past with the shepherds. So <laughs> thank you for being with us. Okay. I'm loving working okay. with you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Cheers. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next episode.